So now let's explain a bit about how this AI agent works. There's a few different things that we need to hook up to this agent in order for it to work. We need to add a chat model. In this example, I'm just simply going to use OpenAI and I'll just go ahead with its pre-built decisions here. You might actually go with GPT-40 to start. This model tends to perform a bit better and you can always downgrade it to a more cheaper model after you get it working. And this is really the brain. This is what allows your agent to think on its own. If you think about a robot here where we have a head, a body, and then the legs. Inside this head here, we definitely want to have a brain. Now also in order to make this agent work well is we need a memory as it's talking to us. It needs to be able to remember the conversations back and forth, not just remembering the last message that you sent. So in order to add memory, we're going to come here and we're simply going to use the window buffer memory. This is the easiest one to set up. We can go ahead and leave these details as is, and that should be everything that we need in order to test this. I'm going to go ahead and type hello. So again, we just used this built-in chat interface to start interacting before we've actually set up something like Telegram where we can chat with it in a typical interface that we're used to. But again, this is why I like N8N because it gives you this chat interface so that you can go ahead and start chatting with your agent without having to set up anything else. So this is really great for testing.